ambassador and guest. Before I start, John, could you give us the timing requirements for this speech? Yes, I'd be happy to give the timing requirements. Uh, I believe the timing for your speech and for Ron's as well is five to seven minutes. So you would qualify at four and a half minutes and the green background will come on at five minutes, the yellow at six and the red at seven. And if you speak after seven minutes and 30 seconds, you will be disqualified. So please qualify. Thank you, Mr. Timer, fellow Toastmasters and guests. It was a hot, humid night in 1963 in Goldsboro, North Carolina. A small community had gathered at a church to decide if our group would march downtown to desegregate the stores and restaurants. Were we willing to go to jail, perhaps lose our jobs, for taking a stand, an act that was in defiance of the law? These decisions weighed heavily on some members of our community. My cousin, who had just started a job at the state hospital, proffered pointedly, how will my family survive if I'm in jail? Will the local NAACP step in to help? Later, he said he could not participate as he deemed it too risky. Others were concerned about teenagers participating in the demonstration. I was 16 at the time. We had heard of news of other cities large and small, despite the large and small, and despite the challenges of going to that march that evening. As the questions were posed, the organizers answered as best they could to reassure everyone. In the long run, it was worth the risk. The majority of the group agreed that it was well worth the risk. At 7 p.m., the appointed time, we again gathered to start the march with our signs boldly, clearly, state, clearly stating, let us eat at restaurants, let us shop at restaurants. Just as a toddler learns to walk, he or she tentatively holds on to a piece of furniture, but eventually lets go to take that first step, the first step to take on the world. That was the sense I felt that night. Passage, steps into adulthood was the same feeling. Since I was from Boston, I viewed the situation differently as desegregation was not a burning issue as it was in the South. Later on, I learned that in life, these issues were not relegated to the South as I would soon discover. For some of these issues took on a different form in the North, that is, they were not as pronounced, but they were there. During my middle years, I was enamored by Cleo, Cleophus Wooten. I had a crush on him. Every evening, all the kids in our neighborhood would gather in the backyard outside to play baseball. There's my chance. I am going to have him notice me. I played basketball, I, baseball, I did well, and yet, he didn't notice me. This in life, there are more opportunities to navigate becoming the person that you are today, falling down, getting up, learning from these experiences, passages. 
Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Barbara. Now, John,